Hello, everybody. Good Monday morning to you folks. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm back with another video in my beginner series, and this time I'm going to be talking to you about glues. Now, I know there's a buttload of glues out there, but I'm going to share with you from the very simple, cheap basics all the way up to the advanced ones. So, hope you guys get some ideas. If you have any questions about these products, please don't forget to leave me a comment um, in the comment section below. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to talk about is the easy one. It's the glue sticks. Now I have Elmer's uh, Craft Bond photo sticks here that I bought at Michael's for about four bucks. You can get them at most other retailers. They have different brands, different uses. Now this says for photos, but you can actually flip it on the back and use it for paper, scrapbooking, anything. And these are acid free. I like this brand because it dries it, it dries pretty fast and it's archival quality and it's great on vellum, which is a type of uh, thin see-through paper. That's kind of like opaque that people use on invitations, and so you don't got to worry about it leaving streaks. And they have different sizes. I have like the small size. Uh, Scotch makes one in this size that I prefer, but this one's actually quite good. You need to make sure you read the label. They do make some that are repositional, so if you buy the one that's repositional and you stick it down and you don't like the way the photo looks, you can pull it back up and it won't mess with your paper. This is permanent. So I really, really like this one. You can tell it's pretty big. I, sh I had to strike the top of it because it was, I don't know, something was wrong with it. And then, of course, here's Scotch. It has all kinds. Those are the two brands I have. Uh, Hobby Lobby makes one. This is a ribbon glue, but they got one similar to this. I do not like that one, but this is actually a, a good one. Well, actually, this used to be a good one. This is the ribbon glue. But their their glues are kind of okay. They have other brands that are just as better, but... If you see this one, stay away from this. I'm trying to make sure I stay within frame. If you hear some noise outside, I apologize. The men are outside doing the lawns, and I can't get around that. So it's waiting later, and I don't want to wait till later. Okay. Uh, anyway, going back to what I was saying. They have also a Tombow Multi. This is Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. You can use liquid glue. These are formulated. Some of these are formulated for paper. Um, this has a pen tip. I keep going to the right. And then you have the broad one, which I love this because you can spread out your glue and get a really good bonding. Um, I put a little bit down and then I spread it around my photos. And whenever you're using this, you don't have to glue it to both sides of your uh, product. Like on this one, what I did with uh, my cat smoking. Going back to the glue sticks, you're going to want to put a little bit down on the photo and on your paper, uh, and then spread it, you know, spread it out and get all the wrinkles out. But with these, you don't really have to too much unless you got a spreader. Uh, that's you know this kind of thing. So these are really good. I I'm really, I was really impressed by these. These are not cheap. I don't remember. I think they're only four or five dollars, but they're still good glue. Scotch makes are awesome. Uh, this is a liquid glue. Now this is like five or six bucks. This is not cheap, but it's really good. Um, I use this when I'm using these uh, buttons right here for my, for my page. And let me share with you what I do. Now this is a little bit, a little bit of a technique. It's not something a little bit crazy. This is that fine in my scrapbooking area that my husband helped me make when my, uh, one year. And what I do is I take these um, wire cutters, and I cut those off, and I have that little nibble right there thing, and I carefully get it down on my sandpaper. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking, but, and I make sure I got a fine back of it, make sure there's nothing on there. I'm trying to make sure I don't get my nails down. So I have this flat surface almost. I've got two different uh, types of sandpaper on this, and I'll do a more how-to on this if you guys want to see it. And then I take this glue, and it allows me to I'm not trying to be able to get it on there. <laughs> Look at that. Let's cut the top off. There you go. 
And this is where I keep strong pins. This thing can clog up if you're not careful with it. Um, but overall, really good tip. You just, um, I hadn't figured out how to keep it from doing it if it's doing this. Okay. Now, what you can do is, and this is another good tip, if I can locate them, I will. Uh, if you remember those eyeshadow um, doodads that we get in our makeup kits and so forth that we're not going to use? Well, this is what I started doing with them. Rather than get that goop all over my hands, I've actually taken this and used it to spread the glue around. So, I need to put a little bit more. And I can just throw these away. And I feel like I'm using these up more now that I've started doing that because I don't use them for my eyeshadow. Okay. And then you just take, take it and press firmly. That will dry clear. And it's going to be perfectly safe on that photo. And of course, you can take this and chunk it, which I will do here shortly. And voila. So I really like this glue and highly recommend this. Uh, if you don't want to get this right now, you don't have to. But this, and if you want to, you can use a coupon at most of the stores. So that's another one. They also have one. Scotch makes one that's also pretty good. It's Scrubbaker's glue. It has the same kind of thing with it. Um, the pen tip. Now, I'm sorry if I keep getting out of range. I'm not used to doing this yet. And I'll put that on there. Now, this one has the sponge applicator, which I definitely like. It's a little goopy because it, um, it did come out a little bit. And this is a good glue, too, but if you're storing this, you want to store this laying down. and store it the other way because it can come out. I've had this for a couple of years. It works really good on the photos. Uh, another one, Tombo makes one similar to uh, that one. It's a liquid glue, too. It's just a clear one. It's the same premise as the smaller one, except it's aqua. This has, like, some little wedges on it, too. So, I am so sorry. I keep going out of range. Anyway, those are the glues I recommend right there. Uh, I guess, and then they also have these... Uh, one similar to these, uh, the tape runners. Now, some of these are refillable, some of these are not. Like this one is basically, I can get it open, probably not. Uh, and um, just be sure, now be sure when you're in the store, if you if you buy this, you have to have the hard case. Many times customers come in and they'll buy this thinking that was the thing they needed, well, they need this too. For example, they got other uh, brands and so forth. Make sure you get the right one. You probably need to buy both. So I like these uh, two also. I don't know how much. I'm only got really one to show you, to be honest with you. But be sure to look for the different brands and ask your um, craft store what they're you know used for. But they're they're great for putting um, just some like ribbon or if you want to put a little accent on something, you can just. Uh, let me just grab this one. This probably didn't have any. Yeah, this didn't have any, but you can just put it on there and then glue it. Okay. The last one I think I'm going to be talking to you guys about. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to show you one other. The Zig is the people that make the Zig pens. They have these. Um, they have one. I think the this is a two-way, but... Um, I've had this one. This has the little bra tip on there, and this is also really good for doing what I was uh, sharing with you. You gotta press down on this one, and then you'll see the liquid come out, and you can just spread it. Press down some more. You don't want to press down too much, and then just spread it. Now, uh, this one when blue is wet when it turns clear when it's dry. And then uh, the wet bond is permanent, the dry bond is temporary. So as soon as you glue that down, you definitely, as soon as it gets wet, you want to hurry up and get it glued down. I don't remember how much this is. This is my least favorite one, to be honest with you, but th these are relatively available. All right, and my very favorite one, I love this one. This is like the next, this is one similar to the framers used in the frame shot. This one came out, 
a few years ago when Scotch saw the need for these. And I know this is a major one, but you get 72 yards of adhesive, and these are really easy to put in, I think. Um, this one, it, they, this one's about $30, you can use a keep one, um, they're available at Joann's, uh, Michael's, I don't know if Hobby Lobby has them. But when you buy this, you get two of these, which is this package, and the package comes like this. And I highly recommend this one because I'm having to buy a less adhesive. And the refills are like 10 bucks, and if you think about it, you can use keep on per week. Now, my husband had me load up on these because he was born right next door to a, a store that uh, I used to shop at, or I still shop at, but um, he would, I mean, I've got some of these left over. They have some for general purpose, which you can use for anything. And this has, like I said, a lot of adhesive on here, and I love this. Because once you stick it out, that's just there ain't going nowhere. So let me demonstrate for you like this. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is put it down, pull the trigger, and then go down, release it, and then lift up. And you can even just put a little bit. If you're gonna do just a little bit, do the same thing, go from there. Like I said, once you glue this down, this is not coming off. That's why I chose scraps. And you got to press firmly too on these too. So, um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend uh, getting this one also. This is one of my the favorites. It's a little dirty, but hey, it, it still does the job when I need it to do. So, um, anyway, I think that's all I'm going to share with you as far as adhesives. If you have any more questions, like I said, don't uh, be afraid to ask me. I'm sorry I went through through this really fast. I wanted to get this video up for you guys because I promised this video yesterday. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.